Whoa. Kago whistled, complimenting towards his lover. He couldn't hold back a smile when she came out of the bedroom in such an elegant, form-fitting dress. Do a spin for me. She shyly spun around for him, and he clapped. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. She giggled at his reaction. Remind me how you're not a model. He rhetorically asked while walking up to her. I feel like you're lying to me each time you say you're not. Stop it, Kago. She playfully pushed him, feeling flustered from his compliments. I'm serious. You're so stunning. He intertwined his fingers with hers, and his eyebrows lift suggestively. You shouldn't even go outside, because I want you all to myself. She grinned, swinging her arms while her hands were connected to his. Kago was always the one cheering her on, even when she was in her pajamas. She never got tired of it. Their relationship was strong, and she was happy with him. However... It was also something she was afraid of losing. I'm sorry. She muttered before looking away. She felt a lump in her throat, trying to hold in her tears that were trying to escape. Whoa. His hand swiftly went up to her cheek, and so she could look at him again. What's wrong? Not too long ago, Kago was in the hospital from a serious battle. She visited him every day and watched him recover. Although he would still crack jokes in the hospital bed, it was still heartbreaking to see. Just remembering all the bandages and tubes stuck in him made her heart drop to her stomach. It was hard being a pro hero. Sometimes I wish you weren't a pro hero. She sniffled. But, but that would be selfish of me, wouldn't it? Oh, don't cry. He tucked a knuckle underneath her eye to prevent her tears from ruining her makeup. Listen, I know it's hard, but it's gonna get better. One day I'm gonna go to work and come back home since it would be barely any work for me to do. I know you like that, right? Y yeah, it would. She nodded. Then cheer up, because I'm definitely going to make that happen. He grinned, and her heart began to flutter. He was good at making her feel better, that's for sure. <laughs> well, right now I'm still worried. I'm sorry. He whispered while his golden eyes bore into hers. I promise I'll make it up to you, and then some. <laughs> you better. Feeling content with his response, Listener snatched his wrist and dragged him to his room. His wings flapped to keep his balance when she pushed him inside and slammed the door. Now get changed! She yelled from the other side of the door. I want to see my sexy man in a nice suit. So aggressive all of a sudden. He teased while grabbing his custom suit from the hangar. He pulled his shirt off and his wings flickered at the article of clothing across his room. He started to pull off his dress shirt, and then Listener began to converse. You know it's been a while since I've been to a wedding. Yeah? This is my first one. He said while buttoning up his shirt. You've never been to a wedding before? Never. Not even as a kid? Nope. He hiked up his dress pants, and then he remembered. Oh wait, I did crash into one while fighting a villain. Does that count? Doesn't count. Bummer. The door swung open, revealing Keiko in his suit, he ordered. It was mostly black, with a red tie to match his feathers. The listener's hands immediately went up to her cheeks, already feeling her blush come in. Oh my. Do you think it's a little too tight? He adjusts his collar. Nope. It's perfect. Keiko cut eyes with listener and smirked. You okay? She gulped and nodded as a response. She has never seen him in a suit before. It was a sight that left her speechless. Cat's got your tongue? He chuckled while stepping closer to her. How is it that we've dated for so long and this is the first time I've seen you in a suit? He shrugged while putting his hands in his pockets and listener watched how his sleeve scrunched up above his wrist. They almost seemed too loose for comfort when she saw this. Kago, did you put the cuffs on? The what? His eyebrows lived upon hearing a foreign word. The cuffs? She replied the words, but he shook his head. The little button things that are for your cuffs for your sleeves? Oh, so that's what those were for. He quickly went back into the room and listener followed. I thought they were just extra buttons just in case one of them broke off. <laughs> he searched a small trash can and found them wrapped in a little plastic bag. Oh my goodness, why did you put it in the trash? I didn't think I would need them. Give them to me. She held her hand out for him to drop it in, and she sat on the bed. She gestured for him to sit next to her, and he listened. 
Without saying a word, she snatched his wrist and began putting all the cufflinks on. Her tongue sticking out in concentration before she grabbed the other wrist to do the same. Keiko hummed in response to this, and his wings wrapped around her as he spoke. I enjoy having you close like this. She glanced at him for a second, and then did a double take. And that's when she realized, Wait, you did this on purpose! She pushed him, and he couldn't hold back his laugh. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> he chuckled as he began to adjust his cufflinks. He took them off and reattached them the appropriate way. I actually had to improvise. My original plan was for you to fix my tie, but then you bought me a clip on and I didn't want to put that to waste. But wait, wh what are you doing? She ignored his statement and pointed to the cuffs on his sleeves. I'm fixing them. Are you saying that you knew how to put them on this the entire time? He erupted in laughter once more while he nodded and listener puffed her cheeks. This entire time, he was feigning ignorance about cufflets? Not only that, but she had put him on incorrectly. Her face became red from embarrassment. Keiko's wing pulled her closer and he kissed the top of her head. You're so cute when you're flustered. His voice was muffled by her hair and she crossed her arms. You're so mean. He wrapped his arms around her, bringing her to his chest. His hands ran through her hair and he sighed. Do you hear it, listener? Huh? My heartbeat. The sound immediately ran through her ears when it was brought to her attention. His heartbeat was quick and powerful. She could feel his pulse as if they were her own. I'm absolutely crazy for you. He said while holding he said while holding her tighter. He wanted to stay like this forever, never wanting to let her go. Listener hugged him back. Her hand struck the base of his wings as her fingers ran through smaller feathers. How could she stay mad at him when he does things like this? She could never. He was always there for her and always succeeded in making her feel better when she was down. She really needed to cherish moments like these. It was only could make things worse for her and her relationship if she kept worrying. There was nothing to worry about. Keiko always made everything right and she was sure that he would accomplish his goal. All she needed to do was live in these moments. I love you. I love you more. He said insinuating a competition on who loved each other more. A game that he really enjoyed to play. I'm not starting this, Kago. She pulled back, peering at him. Oh, come on. I want to hear how much you love me. He faked a pout, causing her to giggle. Okay, fine. I love you more than ice cream. I love you more than flying. I love you more than the world. I love you more than the universe. His nose touches hers after he said this, and listener squished his cheeks between her hands. I love you so much it hurts. She kissed him instantly, causing Keiko's wings to shoot upward. His muscles tensed up only for a second before kissing her back passionately. However, she prevented the mood from escalating any further, pulling back with her hands still on his face. Okay, you win. Come on. She smiled, giving him an extra peck on the lips for good measure. We're gonna be late to the wedding if we keep this up. The bed creaked as she stood up and went to grab her belongings. He watched her the entire time, marveling the way she carried herself until she left the room. Keiko, let's go! Man, he wanted to be late for this wedding so bad. Mm -hmm.